at this dude. What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hey man, if you haven't already did so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, smash the like button, click that bell while you're at it so you can be a part of the post Noti gang family, best family on YouTube. That's no cap. <laughs> hey man, we are here for a Timeless 10 video today. My first time punishing my son. Oh man, that's always rough, man. Especially when, look, I remember when I first had to discipline my youngest one, man. It, you feel bad when you first got to discipline some, uh, your little kid, bruh. I remember he got so upset, he started crying, and then I started getting sad. And I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to discipline you, but you got to be disciplined. That's why. That's how kids grow up to be good kids. You got to discipline them. You feel me? Even as, as much as that hurts, you got to discipline your kids, man, or else they're going to end up uh, being little demons, bro. <laughs> But hey man, we're gonna do less talk about reacting. Let's dive right into this video. Let go. <laughs> Boy, you better start crying or I'll give you something to cry about. Oh, I hate it when my, I hate it when my parents used to say that. Alpha, I was on. You never heard these words. Mm. I still remember the feel. Son, I'm only doing this because I love you. Now get your butt over here. <laughs> or did I feel the love? I feel it. No, growing up, I was raised with the black. Love. Now don't get me wrong. I have the black love and the white love. For the ones that don't know, I'm half black, half white. So I had a white parent and a black parent. Not one of these all of you type of kids. Mm -mm. My beatings were necessary. Every whooping I've got, oh, I deserve it. Even better, earned it. And thanks to my parents, you get it in Timeless Tim Chronicles. But I feel damn Timeless 2024, oh my God. Kids today should be listened to, talk to even better. Never put your hands on a child. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? You took the shoe and you took it upon yourself to toss it at me while I'm trying to teach my lesson. And then it hit you the little four minutes. I was just trying to teach him a lesson. Oh, that girl, you, bro, not only, oh, she has daddy issues. We can all see it. That's a small ass classroom. Little girl. Right now, I'm very professional. What are you going to do? I'm very professional at my job. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. See, this is why I could not be a teacher, bro. I swear I'd get fired on the first day. Somebody talk back to me, I'm throw my whole computer and my lessons at you. Oh, my God. Oh, we might be living in 2024, but I still believe in old school discipline. See, there's a big difference between discipline and being experience. Taking your kids' possession doesn't solve a thing, and sending them to their rooms where all their stuff is in the first place. Nah. See, growing up, not one time did I ever listen to my parents anytime they took my stuff. I did. My parents finally had enough, and from that day forward, I can assure you the scars that I received broke like a charm. Oh, see, when I got disciplined, man, and spanked with the belt, bro, this is what my dad would do. He would say, go wait in my bedroom and take your clothes off. I used to be standing there in my whitey tighties as a little kid just waiting for him, anticipating the moment he walks through that door to spank me with the belt, bro. Ooh, man, those are some traumatizing days, bro. I would never go back. Never to push my parents' buttons. Simply put, obey the rules, respect the authority, and always remember to fear them as much as you love them. See, raising a child requires three following steps. Obedience, discipline, then respect. See, when a child follows your lead and instructions, that's obedience. When they act and behave accordingly, that's discipline. And combining these two traits, kids learn to respect and Like my pops always said, a parent is a parent, not a friend. And that, my God. Is where this story begins. So this story to be honest, I, I like I've always believed in it. I feel like as a parent, you should be able to know how to be a friend and a parent at the same time to your kids. Man, when you're a 24-7 parent, it's it, bruh, your kids are never ever gonna feel like they can uh be honest with you or come to you for anything. You feel me? Like I'm gonna take you back, back to the first time I disciplined my job. So it was a short while back. Now at the time, my son was starting to act just like me. From the day my son was born, I looked deep into his eyes and he was the cutest, happiest, most adorable little boy. Deep inside, I could feel spiritual 
Yes. I knew karma was coming back on me. All the bad things I had done to my parents. Man, I can only imagine how my kids are going to be acting when they get a little older, bruh. And I'm serious. Behind that cute laugh, those cute little devils, those adorable eyes. Stood a savage. So it was a Monday morning. Now as usual. Stood a savage. Every weekday, my son gets up early and gets ready for school. So I wake him up, tell him to make his bed, I go brush my teeth, get back, and the bed isn't made. Junior, didn't I tell you to make that bed? But I don't feel like it. Excuse me? Dad, what's the point of making a bed if it's gonna be messed up again? Duh. <laughs> no, one important rule. Never question a parent. It's their house. I ain't gonna lie, that's how I felt when I was locked up, bro. When I was locked up, man, they made us fucking make the beds before we ate uh any meal, bro. Like, why? Why do we gotta make the bed before we're just gonna go right back to bed after we get done eating? You feel me? Like And their room. And yes, locked up as in jail, bro. And you my guy can't say nothing. Son, I'm only going to tell you one more time. Clean up your room. But why? Oh, these gen alphas are different, different. different They're never different. these kids. I could never. Can you imagine me asking my dad why? Because I said so. But what if I don't feel like it? I'll tell you what. I'll be right back. So I get to the closet, look in. Now, where is my belt? See, this was my first time disciplining my child. So I needed the perfect belt. Man's but Yeah, you can't use the belt anymore. Because that's when you get CPS on your ass, bro. No cap. <laughs> I had to get a beating of a lifetime, but then hit me. Wait a minute. A bill? Nah, that's too easy, my guy. So I get back to my son. Junior, go fetch me a switch. Now, if you're an old switch, chick, you know those six words. Go fetch me a switch. Ooh, wait. So my son's like, Dad, what's a switch? <laughs> what? You don't know what a switch is? Dad, you want me to go get the Nintendo Switch? Okay. No. No, I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm raising a soft ass kid. By his age, I had gotten several beatdowns. Oh, this man's got a bad job. Do you know how dumb I look trying to explain a Switch to my own child? Listen, boy, a Switch is a flexible rod which is typically used for punishment. Punishment? But why? Because it hurts. But dad, why would you want to hurt me? Son, <laughs> because I love you. But mommy said you show love by kisses. Oh, let's go kiss that butt. But we don't even have a switch in the house. Ah, uh -huh. that's the point. You have to go outside, get you. Like low key, the little kid is trying to do reverse psychology on his ass right now. Pick a switch and bring it back to me so I can whoop your behind. Daddy, you really gonna spank me? Spank you. But dad, I thought you loved me. Oh no, son. Spanking's for white people. I'm beating that ass. What's your daddy? You're not taking a picture of bed? Now I finally hit my son. Oh, this man's really gonna pull hands on me. Now the boys shoot. Ah. I'll make it right now. Nah, uh, bro. Keep that same energy. So I get back to my room, pick my favorite belt, and return for the beats. How times have changed. I am now the disciplinary. Simply put, um, him. But right before the initiation, I had a quick flashback. Get your butt over here. You two think you're smarter than me? Well, I'm smart then. Now, count it out loud. <laughs> Damn, how many? <laughs> See, when I was getting my ass whipped, it was always between two to three spanks with the belt. No cap, but <laughs> best believe I was clenching them booty cheeks. I'm envisioning myself in my son's position. Damn, Tim, you becoming more like Pops. And from that moment, I I'll never be like my dad. My dad, bro. Yes, I got daddy issues. No cap. <laughs> melted. I couldn't believe I'm about to beat my only child. This boy was a miracle. And I even promised My oldest God child is a golden child or an angel child. Self. I should have said golden. Even the Bible says he who spares the rod hates his son. But he who loves him is careful to discipline him. And I'm whooping that ass. Pull those pants down, boy. But daddy, I'm sorry. But then those two words hit me. I'm I love you. Sorry. See, for the first time, my son apologized and admitted he was wrong. See, an apology can go a long way. And it takes Back. a real man to admit when he's wrong. And then that moment, I knew my son was growing into a young man. So I put the belt down, looked deep into my son's eyes. Son, there's nothing wrong with making a mistake, but a real man admits when he's wrong. And you've made me proud. So I hugged my boy, gave him the day off school, and made this fool clean the house, wash the dishes, take out the trash, do the laundry, and mow the lawn. Now, that, my guy, was my first time disciplining my son. But if this boy ever tries me again, I'm on that ass. So, um, moral of the story. There is no better test of a man's integrity than his behavior when he's wrong. That's why an apology is like the super glue of life. It can repair just about anything.
Yeah, no, I agree, man. An apology can go a long way. It's no cap. And that's with anything. Relationships, friendships, your work, school, etc., bro. An apology can go a long ways. That's on everything. You feel me? But hey, man, if y'all made it to the end, I do greatly, greatly appreciate it, man. Smash the like button. Leave a comment down below. Click that bell while you're at it. Till next time. I'm going to see y'all next time. I'm out.